it's easy to think that technology is changing global business, but actually, it's the other way around. The demands of an increasingly global business world and the global tax environment have driven technological change, and that's led to a proliferation of new taxes with big implications for indirect tax functions. Multinational global companies need to have some idea of what they're paying, where they're paying it, how much they're paying, and a way of managing that process. And technology is the way they can do that. That we see a lot of the um, jurisdictions looking for data real time. So some countries require invoices immediately. Others um, use technology in audit. And companies need to be able to react to that. You're going to have more real time reporting. And you may actually have like automatic payment systems so that instead of being paid you know, monthly on a form, as a transaction's occurring, you will have an automatic debit or credit to that jurisdiction's account. In addition, governments are seeking new ways to raise revenue to pay for basic public services. That means more new indirect taxes to account for, beyond VAT and sales taxes. You know, business license taxes, uh, environmental taxes, uh, beverage, sugar taxes, motor fuels taxes, you know, a lot of other taxes that exist that have other reporting requirements and forms that make it very difficult for companies to comply with. Given the proliferation and complexity of new indirect taxes, we can expect an operational change in the indirect tax function. You know, you'll see more paperless transactions and you'll see more automated payment processes. Uh, and how companies are going to be able to manage that and deal with that around controls and approval processes uh, is going to be a, a challenge. And that's, that's a very uh, critical point. Uh, you need to be able to bridge that gap between IT and finance in order to be able to articulate this is really what we need to either put in the ERP or have come out of the ERP so that we can get the right answer. Correcting mistakes made in the indirect tax function can mean reams of paperwork and hundreds of people hours. There are some best practices, starting with staying current on business issues. I think the best practices in maintaining your tax engines are to have a constant liaison with your business unit. The other half is how do I stay current with the laws and what's happening? And the third half, which you know obviously the math doesn't work, but the third half is how do I relay all that information and deal with my IT group to make sure that my systems reflect the law changes and the business changes. Tax needs to be a part of that whole discussion um, to identify you know, what they will need to be able to manage their function.